Hey, good evening. It's Tuesday, June 22nd. Tuesday evening. Uh, things are kind of scattered with this moving process, which I'm sure you know all about that. But it means my videos are going to be a little bit hit and miss here for a while. So probably we'll just be doing one a day for the next several days. So tonight I wanted to take the opportunity. It's my last one day, two days, two days here. Last three days, sorry. Last three days here in uh, my house here in uh, Spartanburg. And it's been a really cool time for me to be here. Very thankful for that. But it's a reminder as we think about moving where home really is. And it's, you know, as you get older, perhaps it's easier to think about home or heaven being closer. But if you're younger, it's just as important because we're not guaranteed that tomorrow will happen. But if we know God and we're trusting him, we are confident of where we'll be tomorrow. We'll be heading home one way or the other. And that's such a beautiful thought. You know, right now I'm thinking about moving to another residence in, uh, in South Carolina. But what's significant about that is that I, that's not my final home. You know, Paul makes it clear, my citizenship is not here. And whether you're five or 15 or 18 or 25 or 45 or 65 or older, our home is not here. Our home is secure for us somewhere else. And make no mistake about it, there is a final home. For those of us who are able, for those who have been called by God, we can trust in him. That home is a place that we're looking forward to. Abraham looked forward to it. He wasn't looking forward to something here on earth. He was looking forward to a city that was a heavenly city. It was designed, built, made possible by the work of God and his son, Jesus Christ. And that's my true home. And that's what gives life here on earth meaning and purpose. Because when we see all the ugliness here, when we think things are unfair here, there's nothing here that God has missed. Nothing that he has forgotten about. Because he has it all settled. It all works out in a way that brings honor to him, but it also brings tremendous blessing and honor to us. If all we do is look at the clues that we have around us, then we have very little hope because life is like this. You think you put your money in a certain place and it could be gone tomorrow, literally. We make careful plans. Life turns upside down, literally, in a heartbeat. But God's consistent covenant faithfulness never changes. So my home destination is also my destination right now. It's my inhabitants right now. Yes, I'm going to leave this really cool place in the backyard and the birds and all the rest of that. But in one sense, I'll never be leaving home because my home is already secured for me. And that's the great center point of life. It's what steals us from the issues of depression and sadness. Not that they're not real, they are. But I have a context to put them in. So let this time of moving for me be a reminder to you that your home is not here. Your home is in a better place. And that's where our hope is. That's where our joy is. That's where our peace is. Think about that. If we put all of our eggs in this earthly basket, literally, and make this home, even though it may be exciting and satisfying for the moment, ultimately it overwhelms us with sadness. But if that home is fixed upon where God's called us, then loving each other, loving our children, putting up with the difficulties that we have to deal with, seeing that God has called us something even greater than what's here. That this beautiful sunset that's coming through the trees behind me is just a reminder of the heavenly light of God, of Christ, his son, which will give all the light we need to our eternal home. 
that God bless us with hope. And, uh, again, keep up to date. Uh, keep checking at the website, everydaytalk247.com. Hit the sub subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It's really great to be with you. And Lord willing, I'll catch up with you sometime tomorrow. But until then, rest secure this night because we know where home is. And Jesus has prepared the perfect place for us. And it makes sense of all the mess that we leave with right now. So thanks so much for being here tonight. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.